there, good people. Welcome. So I asked for questions for Q&A, and I'm going to answer those questions. I don't have any makeup on, and that the reason why is in one of these questions. I didn't get a lot of questions, so I'm going to go ahead and answer them all. But first, I'm going to get a cup of tea. Okay, and while that tea brews, we'll get started on the questions. I'm not going to say names because sometimes people don't like me to, but I'm going to answer everyone's question. So first question. Can you update us on your weight loss journey? Is it hard being back in the office full time? Two questions. Weight loss is going quite well. I'm very happy. I've lost six pounds. Long way to go for me. I want to lose a fair amount more, but I'm very happy with my progress. And I have definitely like figured out the keys to the street. I don't diet. So that's really, I had to figure out a good balance without dieting because I don't diet. Like I said, it's just not sustainable for me. And if I want to have a cookie, I'm going to have a cookie. So uh, it's going really well. Let me know if you have any other questions about that or anything you want me to put in the video. Is it hard being back in the office full time? Absolutely. Um, I'm having a really hard time adjusting. My mind hates it um, <laughs> with a passion. For anyone who doesn't know, I am back in the office at work five days a week full time. And so... I'm wearing a mask every day and I'm like at first I was putting on makeup and at this point I really don't want to be there every day and so I'm having a hard time forcing myself to put on makeup even though it's like three minutes is all it takes. Um, I'm going to start putting on makeup again to try to encourage myself to change my outlook but I have no idea how we did this before. Like I wake up at 5 a.m., I would be productive, then I would go to work and be productive, and then I would come home and have less to do, but still be productive. Like I would cook for myself, etc. And right now that feels utterly overwhelming. And I've been at the office for about two months now. Um, so it's kind of crazy that that was how I lived before. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to keep this up. My brain is telling me, no, it is telling me this is not okay, but it's the ghetto. It's the absolute worst, especially wearing a mask all day, every day. What have been the top three benefits of your music education and performance career? Top three lessons. And when did you realize performing wasn't what you wanted to do with the rest of your life? Top three benefits. Oh, there's so many benefits. I, number one that's useful in my current job is that I am, I am comfortable speaking in a large room of people. I'm comfortable speaking to strangers. And though it, it's not my ideal situation, right? Like I'm an introvert. It doesn't bring me a level of anxiety that I notice that people who haven't performed or haven't studied music um, have any kind of like art form who haven't studied that. They don't have that ability because it hasn't been practiced, right? Um, I know people who get like immense levels of anxiety, even with the team they work with, right? And if because of music study, you're working with the team all the time. So presenting to my team, like having a voice doesn't bother me. Um, and then performing at a high level means that you perform in more high stakes situations or more visibility within your performances. And so I just have a certain comfort level and a confidence, I think, in myself because of music study. So that's one. Two is definitely the self-discipline and the self-reliance you learn from um, being in ensembles and performing. You have to gain enough. If you're going to do it, if you're going to study it and you get to a high level, you have to gain enough confidence, enough self-reliance to practice on your own for hours and hours and hours and make headway. You have to have a level of self-reliance to play in an ensemble with others. Um, you have to be self-reliant. You can't actually rely on someone else when you're at a high level. No one's going to fill in the notes for you. No one's going to play it for you. And if you want to be paid at a high level, you've got to be able to play the music well. Um, so you develop a certain level of self-reliance and self-confidence that I take into my work, right? Like if I'm working on a project, there's a certain level of effort that has gone into it be because that's been bred into me by music study, right? Like you work hard at something until complete, right? And even when it's complete, you continue to work at it. And that transfers very well to other disciplines um, it, very well. 
And then third, the ability to listen. You, when you study music, you are trained to listen and listen in different ways, listen across the room, listen to people in front of you, listen everywhere, right? To hear the nuances. When you get to a high level, to hear the nuances. And so the ability to listen and observe has been so invaluable and it definitely serves me in my job. It's something my boss relies on me for. Sometimes he puts me in meetings just to see what I've heard, right? Because even though he also studied music, um, he didn't necessarily perform at the high level I performed at. And so he just doesn't have that same ability to hear the small things, to even hear body language, which is hard to explain. And so that has been incredibly useful to me in my life. And I, I think st the study of the arts is useful, even if you're even if you don't go into the arts, even as an adult, I think the study of the arts can definitely affect your life in ways you can't anticipate. So what hairstyle would you love to try but was hesitant about following through and why? I don't know, because I'm pretty open about trying hairstyles. Because to me, you know, y'all know, my hair is expendable. <laughs> I'll cut it like nobody's business so easily. Um, I don't, has, I've tried most hairstyles. I can't think of one. I think the only thing I haven't tried is maybe wigs. Um, and why? Because I haven't wanted to put through the effort to learn to wear them. And then I also don't want to straighten my hair regularly or style my hair to, to um, fit a wig. I'd rather just style my hair. And I don't want to put in the money to buy good wigs. <laughs> so it's not that I'm... I just have reasons why I don't want to. What literature have you read recently that left a positive imprint in your life and what genre was it? Um, Octavia Butler, her parables, duo, parable of the sower, parable of the talents. That is um, Afrofuturism. So, I mean, just the, the spot on. Uh, she's not alive anymore, but the way she crafted those stories is such a prediction of what's happening today it's really eerie the book club talked a lot about it um and then the other is black fortunes and million dollar slaves those were a duo we put together so both of those we read together for book club um i loved black fortunes because it really, you can learn a lot from it. It's a book about the first self-made millionaires, or not even self-made because that's a title, um, but first millionaires in the US. And you learn a lot if you are reading critically, right? You can learn how these people got their money, right? How they made millions. It's still applicable today. Um, and then how it was either taken from them and their descendants whether they were able to pass it down to their descendants or not. I think you could learn a lot from that, um, both of those. I'd like to hear more about your earlier days on message boards and what prompted you to do YouTube videos. Also, what natural hair information was available back then? Um, the message boards were awesome. They were fun. Um, there was less room for the pettiness because people didn't have the visual, I think. Um, unless someone wanted to share the visual. So a lot of people, you didn't even see their hair or we had Fatki, um, which everybody shared on Fatki.com photos, right? Videos came a lot later, um, but photos was how everyone was sharing. It was a lot more communal and like uplifting. If you shared, if you were in a challenge, everybody was checking in with you, right? Um, there were a lot less product options. So there was a lot more DIY, I think, that came with being natural. Um, and the sources of information, there was this website called Motown Girl. It's how we learned so many things. Um, and then just trial and error, experimenting together is how we learned to do our hair. Um, we had Tracy from Kiss. As the video stuff started rolling in, Nat 25 as the video stuff rolled in. Um, we had naturality back then, and then both boards, like long hair care form and naturality gave way to nat. what is it? Oh, what was her? It wasn't naturally curly. I can't think of what it was. But it, that came after. It was, it was a black woman psychologist who started. I can't think of her thing. Um, but there were so many different things. Um, and 
it on a long hair care form it was a mixture of women with relaxers what we call text laxed natural etc and we were all trying the same things like there was an understanding at that point that your hair like how your hair type and texture didn't relate to how they formulate products so it was a shared knowledge and less like you know if you're natural try this or if your curl pattern is this try this um and i really like that what prompted me to do youtube videos was friends and family um i was actually really heavily into ayurveda at one point <laughs> way a little back before it became popular on youtube and um they would ask me a lot about like how i was doing things and so and my hairstyles and stuff which i learned from, from written words which is funny um and so my sister helped me start a youtube channel and i've been doing it ever since would you ever eat majority or all plant-based what's on your must-have shopping list for fall i would not i was already i typically eat majority plant-based this doesn't mean vegan i eat meat but i was only eating meat like twice a week and that has happened over time just as my desire to expand my food choices to make the planet more viable place to live i was cutting slowly cutting down my meat consumption to twice a week um and i was actually cutting down my seafood consumption too because the shit is expensive here not because i don't want to eat it <laughs> like I, I used to eat crab legs every friday when i lived in florida because it was 6.99 a pound um now here like i'm lucky to get 9.99 a pound it was 7.99 a pound at Publix uh, last week and i was so tempted but I had already bought food <laughs> and I don't waste food. Um, also being plant-based, like fully plant-based, you said or all plant-based is not a practical option for me. Um, because I do have anemia, I need to not restrict myself. Um, animals are great sources of iron and, and some animal byproducts are great sources of iron for people who have anemia um, and the way the body synthesizes it. And before you say that they're plant-based sources there are good plant-based sources but um the majority of the the best sources are animals and animal byproducts just the way the body processes it i could get regular infusions and and, and stuff to supplement like if i wanted to be all plant-based but i'd rather not i'd rather if my choices are those i'd rather eat meat um because i guess because i grew up in the country i have no delusions about where my meat is sourced and how it's sourced like i do i understand like I, I see videos where people are like i don't i didn't really understand that my meat came from so and so and so i i like completely get it um and also because i've lived in the country i know that a lot of those documentaries that people talk about are highly exaggerated right um and if you really want to understand the meat industry then go to a farm <laughs> Um, and if that makes you not eat meat, then that's okay. Um, but it, it, it is beneficial to my body to eat meat. What's on your must have shopping list for fall? I have a video coming, but I will say I already bought a candle. It's a super bougie candle, <laughs> like super bougie, but I really, I live that Rajanti life. Um, it's from Restoration Hardware. This is their Valencia Bergamot. This is going to be my fall scent in my home. Um, that's just how I live. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I do have a video coming. Is there an apartment tour coming soon? Would you consider getting another pet someday? Will you be doing vlogmas this year? Um, I am going to do tours of certain rooms. I have just been kind of chilling in my apartment, slowly getting things. I now have two pieces of art in my dining room instead of the one and then the one frame on the floor. Two pieces are hung. I need to go to my sister's and get um, the handle, the missing handles from my buffet. And then I'll do a dining room tour, hopefully by the end of this month. I need to do some things in here in the living area, living room. So I will do a tour of that after that. Um, and then we'll see. Getting another pet is like I want another dog, but I'm not over the loss of my dog. Um, so no time soon but one day i will get another dog i will go to a shelter or a humane society and get another dog and i don't know if i'll be doing vlogmas it's just going to depend right now it's already a lot for me to do all the content i do um and i'm not like 
I don't think people really like me posting every day during Vlogmas because everyone's doing it. So I might just stick with my regular schedule. Um, what can I do to make the sides of my hair grow as long as the back? Cut the back? How long have you been natural? What are your only curl products? I've been natural a long time. I have a video. I have two videos. I have a video with my natural hair journey and a video with videos with my holy grail products, my staples. So I'll link them both below. What's your favorite part of your wash routine? Ah, do I have a favorite part? When it's done <laughs> and I can wear my hair? <laughs> um, it, I like doing my hair. I don't think there's a favorite part. It's just a part of my grooming. It's what I do. Um, I like all the parts. Like it's an experience to me, right? Like. There's no part I don't like, so it's an experience. It's an overall experience. Now, doing these twists, I was like, why did I do that? Like, I have so much hair. I just forgot. <laughs> what type of music do you like? I like all kinds of music, probably because I grew up in a household where we celebrated a lot of different types of music. So, a lot of different types of music. Um, background growing up, you got to be more specific. I'm a country bumpkin. Um of educated parents and educated grandparents. I'm, I'm a third generation college student. Um, I, uh, I don't know, I grew up in a big family. I have, I'm a country bumpkin, so I have a large family. Um, I don't know what else to say. You gotta, you gotta be more specific, I should've asked you. How do you feel about black girl curls opinion of the natural hair community? Um, I don't have any feelings because I don't know their opinion of the black, of the natural hair community. Uh, I know people who stay mad under my video. I mean, other than that, watch the video. You'll see what I said. I stand by what I said. Um, but as far as what they think about the natural hair community, I don't know what they think about the natural hair community. Um, so I have no opinion. And that was the last question. See, this wasn't even 20 minutes. I feel like I did good. Uh, I didn't take one sip of tea. Did y'all notice that my tea is pumpkin spice? I'm I'm in fall. I don't know where you are. I've been baking muffins. <laughs> I'm already like in baking mode. I'm, I'm baking cookies next. I want fall to arrive. It rained like cats and dogs this week. So I'm just ready. Um, in the comments, tell me what are you most looking forward to to fall? Let me know. Is it a beverage? It is a thing. Is it a thing? Let me know. I'd really like to chat about it. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I will do another Q&A in the fall. I'm trying to do these seasonally so I can answer your questions. Otherwise, check me out on Patreon or join the channel because that's where I am. And if you don't want to do that, subscribe so we can see each other in the next one. Loving how you wind Bye. up for me. Tonight is all on me. My shop the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just wanna highlight Ooh wee, that body talk to me I need a taste baby Loving the way, loving the way you move around